gosh, there's so much. I think this concept of asymmetrical risk reward, which I got from multiple of these multi-billionaires that started with nothing, the idea that don't think in terms of taking huge risks to get huge rewards. Think about the least amount of risk for the greatest reward and be disciplined about that. Um, I've created out of that kind of like core four for even my own designs of, of and my asset allocation. I look at everything and my first question I do with my advisors is I go, okay, show me how we're not gonna lose money. Cause I've learned that from these guys. It's like every other time I go, how are we gonna make money at this? How are we not lose money? I mean, Richard Branson, when he was uh, starting Virgin uh, Air uh, Airlines, he, he's, He's a risk taker with his life. I mean, the guy he does crazy stuff we all know about, but he's not a risk taker in business. His whole question is, what's the downside? How do I protect it? And so he went to Boeing and got them to agree that if he wasn't successful in the first two years, he could give the planes back and have no liability whatsoever. That's the way these guys think. So, you know, how do we make sure it's not going to lose money? And then out of that, it's really asset allocation. Where's the asymmetrical risk reward? If it's not asymmetrical, I'm not in. And then thirdly, of course, I'm looking at this for tax efficiency because you, you only get the money you get to keep. <laughs> it's not what you earn, it's what you keep that you get to spend. And then fourthly, I look at diversification at, at all levels, not only within asset classes and individual assets, but also uh, you know, worldwide and in timing. Because uh, you know, no one's gonna be right about timing. No one's gonna be right about selection. And we, I, I learned that by being around them. So I look at that as my kind of my basic core four and the asymmetrical risk reward and the discipline about not losing money are huge, even though they're very simple thoughts.